first ride on the Yamaha WR155R. This bike is only pretty much sold through Asia, I believe. It's got the 155cc four-stroke Yamaha engine that's the same one that's used in the, I think it's the Yamaha Exciter, which is the more high performance of the Yamaha range of 150cc scooters. It's got a little bit more power and torque than the Yamaha Aerox or NMAX, that are one of the most common scooters that Yamaha makes, or the more popular ones anyway. It does weigh a fair bit the bike but the motor does do a reasonable job of pulling it along. Some really steep hills around here and it's really going to test this little 155cc engine out that's for sure. But it does appear to be reasonably torquey for its size. I have seen the power specs for it and it probably has got, it probably has got just enough Oh, this is a pretty steep little hill we're going up here and I'm going second gear. Okay, switches back to left here, so back to first gear. Into second. Sit on about, what are we there, about 6,000 revs, I think I saw that at a glance. I uh, did that fairly easy. It's definitely no powerhouse, but it's doing the job, you know. And I've been up this a little bit before. On our little scooter shootout and it trust me it is steep now this is second gear up this one this is bloody steep this one so i'm gonna have to go back to first on there a tight right hand corner here staying in first gear it won't pull second up this steep stuff no way and just level that goes back into dirt here but there you go i'll just whoops I was going to turn it off the conventional way with the key, but that'll do. <laughs> Just stall it with the clutch. Sometimes I forget I'm riding a, uh, a manual bike again, because obviously in Thailand, well not obviously, but in Thailand we pretty much ride the scooters all the time, and yeah, obviously there's no, uh, no clutch or gearbox involved in those. So anyway, there we go. We're looking at Chewing Beach, Chewing Lake down there, Chewing Beach on Koh Samui Island in Thailand, of course. That is the main part of Chewing straight ahead of us there. Uh, you've got the temple on the hill. I don't know if you'll be able to see it through the GoPro. I'll try and enlarge it later on in, in the editing and give you a view of that. That's the airport over there. You can sort of see a flat section on this side of that big hill in the distance there before the coast. And that's where the, most of Bangkok, well, actually all of the Bangkok Air, Airways flights come in from Bangkok and other places. And now I think they're pretty much the only airline that flies into Koh Samui. So they've pretty much got a monopoly on it. They own the airport, so obviously they can decide who, who uses it and who doesn't. And at the moment, it's pretty much just uh, most of their planes, I've, I believe, I've been told. So if anybody knows any different to that, you're welcome to put a comment in in the section below. So there we go, guys. Uh, we shall meander on to some more scenic little destinations and there's plenty of them. As you can see, the countryside here is just up and down. It's it's really just some really challenging terrain around the whole of the island. And a lot of the tracks are almost impossible to, to ride up. They're more serious four-wheel drive stuff or if you've got uh, a, a ton of off-road talent and probably more than my skill level, that's for sure, you might be able to do it. But this bike's got the sort of trial, semi, semi sort of off-road trials tyres on it that came standard with the bike. And they're sort of ideal for the sort of work that you want to do with a bike like this. And I'll just stop and I'll just show you what they are. I'll turn it off the conventional way this time with the key. So yeah, you've got the pretty much got the IRC 18 inch on the back there, which is a, what's they calling it? Trails GP. Yeah, Trails GP. Now that's an 18 inch rear wheel.
just gonna love the way those resorts are just perched on the hillside there there's an access road going up the hill there and I haven't been up there because I think it might be a gated community I'm not sure but I can see from here just how ridiculously steep that would be I don't know how the residents up there get in and out on a wet day and there's plenty of rain in these sort of tropical islands so it would be definitely scary that's for sure but uh, yeah anyway it is what it is all right so now we're going to test the bike on the downhill here as i said before this is really really steep and unlike the Segura, we have got engine braking because it's a manual gearbox and we're able to keep it in a lower gear which is second at the moment and this is really steep so i'll put it back to first and no brakes at the moment and you can see it's immediately gone straight up to 8,000 revs i'm back on the brakes now and go back up to seconds just leveling out so you have got some engine braking with it but not a heck of a lot really as you would expect for a 155cc engine it has got enough engine braking whereas if you're combining the engine braking with prodigious use of the front and rear brakes it's fine the more i'm riding the bike the more i'm getting used to it and the more I'm actually liking it. When I first saw a leg over it, I didn't think much of it, to be quite honest. I thought it was severely underpowered, but I've come quite, I've come straight off an SWM RS 500R, as anybody watching this channel before would already know. And they are a 50 plus horsepower powerhouse. And to come onto something like this is really a uh, huge step down. But it's still fun and there is a big market for bikes like these for the simple fact that nearly anybody can ride them because they're not intimidating in the power at all i think they put out i'll have to put it up on the screen for you but i think they put out something like about 17 horsepower and i'm not sure the torque is but again i will put that up on the screen so it's not a huge amount of power by any means but it does it does get along all right uh, i didn't actually get it on film but I got myself stuck on a, a really, really steep granite dirt hill before and I really shouldn't have gone up it because I didn't know where it was going to come out, just assumed that I could get out the other end and found a, a heap of workmen up there telling me, pretty much laughing, saying, <laughs> you can't go any further mate, it just gets worse and you're going to have to go back the way you came. So I actually had to walk the bike down the hill, it was that steep. So, but the funny thing is, well the point is, actually not the funny thing, it's all a bit of both really, is that it actually pulled first gear all the way up that really, really steep hill. Now, that is the steepest hill around here, and although it wasn't very rough or rocky, it, it was very slippery, and the tyre was spinning a little bit going up. But it pulled, it pulled it no worries, at no point did it feel like it was going to stall or run out of power, so it's got enough. It's got enough to do something like that, only in first gear of course. But, you know, as long as you're not trying to race a full-blown Enduro and expecting it to... As long as you're not racing a full-blown Enduro and expecting it to pull, you know, extra gears up a steep incline, then it's fine, it'll actually do the job which I must admit did surprise me I'm looking forward to putting a few days together and touring around on this bike and just getting a bit of a feel for it and uh, what it's capable of and well for the second time today I've got myself in a bit of a predicament at the bottom of another really steep hill I just took a left turn from up on the track up there that I sort of know to see where this one goes and it's pretty much just overgrown as I've got to this corner. It's almost impossible to turn the bike back around easily and ride back up that hill. So I'm going to keep going down through here and see where I end up. <laughs> I 
Are you sure this track hasn't been used in a while? I saw a picture of a, about a 14 foot, well I assume it was a python, at a big resort down on the coast near Lamai Beach yesterday and that was in a pretty built up area. Now I'm here in the middle of pretty much the jungle on an overgrown trail wearing shorts on a track that I don't know where it goes. <laughs> I don't think there's much logic in that. At least I can turn around here and go back the other way. It's certainly an adventure, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm on the island of the coast, I'm we by the way, and there's some really, really steep hills and tracks that just go just about everywhere around the place. I think they just run out of track. <laughs> now I can see some concrete down there. Hopefully there's not a creek in the way. Oh, all right, we found a, what appears to be an actual road. Oh, good. 